everybody, it's an old pop hunter, and today we're going to look at what I got from WonderCon Anaheim. So let's get into it. So, first thing I got here, I got Pichu from Pokemon. This is the flocked Pichu. I am trying to collect all of the flocked Pokemon. At the moment, I do have all of the ones that have been released. I know they just announced some for SDCC. That was Mewtwo and Vulpix. So I definitely will be trying to pick those up because block Pokemon. And on the back here, you can see it has Mr. Mime, Mewtwo, and Vulpix, which were just announced for Flocked. They did not announce a Mr. Mime Flocked. I don't know if they'll make one. But this isn't the set for Flock. This is just the set it was in originally, the normal version. So they might make a Mr. Mime soon. Next here is Eevee. So this is a really cool one. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. I When they had the two games, the Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, I did get Let's Go Eevee. And it's a cool game, cool game. These are really cool pops. And actually, oh, cool, cool, cool. I got both of the official stickers, the con stickers. I do like the con stickers a lot more than the shared stickers. And all of my flocked Pokemon at the moment do have the con sticker. Actually, all of my convention pops have a official sticker except for my Freddy Funko with HQ. I got the shared sticker on that one. I wish I got the official sticker, the con sticker. Oh, but the rest of my ECCC ones have the con sticker, and the rest of my other pops have the con sticker. And last thing here, this one was really cool. It is the Virtual Con shirt. I was hoping they would make one for SDCC, because this is Virtual Con Summer Edition or Virtual Con SDCC. But I think this is really great. And, wow. I'm going to take this out. This is a pretty cool shirt. Funko, Funko Virtual Con 2020. So this, technically it is for WonderCon, but it doesn't have to be specific. It just says Virtual Con, but the blue does make it the WonderCon. But I don't, I think this could really fit between any, and it does say 2020 there. And then the sleeves say, United Fun, Funko Family, right there. It's pretty cool. Oh, that is so cool. I thought it was the crown. It's people holding hands to look like the crown. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then the other sleeve does not have any design, but I think this is pretty cool. I'm going to try on the shirt. So this is a nice shirt. It's very comfy. All Funko shirts are. I like it. I like the logo they had for the Virtual Con. I want them to make... I know they probably wouldn't do this because they already had the Pops design, but, like, I wish the sticker had Virtual Con on it. I don't think they would do it, but I don't really care if they do it or not. I, what I really wish they did is for Target Con. They made a shirt that said Target Con on it, but they didn't put a Target Con sticker on the Target Con pops. They just put a Target exclusive. But these guys, going to pop them out of box. So here they are. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. There's Eevee. And it is flocked everywhere except for the eyes. So that makes sense and it's really cool. And then here, flocked everywhere except for the eyes again. I think these ones make sense. I do like the flocked a lot more than the normal. And you can't really get every Pokemon pop because that's too many. But I think just getting the flocked ones is great. What? Who? I want them to make a Chespin pop. Chespin is my favorite Pokemon. I don't care if it is flocked or non-flocked. I'll definitely get it when they make him, if they make him. But he's my favorite, so if they make him, I'll get it. So, let me know what you thought of the WonderCon exclusives from this year. Tell me what your favorites were in the comment section below. And that's all for now. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more by me. Goodbye.